What's up YouTube? So today's video is going to be uh, fairly quick and we're just going to touch on uh, something that um, may or may not help you guys um, and that is uh, for some of you guys uh, the game client may have all of a sudden stopped loading and um, this is for the game League of Legends if you guys don't know and essentially um, if you have any of these symptoms namely um, say you double click on your icon to launch the game and you get to the uh, play screen but sometimes it takes really long to load and sometimes um, it will not load completely and it'll just freeze up for about 10 to 15 minutes and um, you may see like the server uh, but it'll usually say unavailable um, or you finally get this to load and you click the orange play button at the bottom right and it takes another five to ten minutes for the login screen to pop up but it does finally pop up but when you type in your password and hit login the whole screen will freeze at the at the loading site and um, you'll pretty much see the uh, swirly loading icon and you'll be stuck at the uh, login screen with this box that says loading and you will wait like 10 to 20 minutes but nothing will load so you end up uh, ending the program using task manager and trying again um, and nothing happening so uh, this is pretty much to uh, tell you guys how to fix that and I'm sure you guys have tried other ways of fixing it uh, namely just uh, you know going to task manager and ending the process or uninstalling and reinstalling. So this problem is actually different from the black screen problem. I've made a few videos on that and um, the details and differences I've uh, explained in that video. So check those out if uh, that's your problem. But to sum it down, the black screen problem comes in after you've logged in. So you've gotten into the actual game but once you hit play or you try and get to the queue you'll see a black screen um, sometimes it's before you get into the loading queue um, but that's a different problem and there are different solutions for that um, so check those videos out for uh, answers to those I've made a few uh, videos on how to solve those problems but this is for um, not even being able to log into the game so there are two main reason for this and why it will give you a huge bucket list of things to do like go to this hotkey file delete this folder find this specific file after going through like 15 directories and delete it or you know replace it with this custom attachment which you have to like email riot to get the uh, actual file you don't need to do any of that so most of the time um, I've actually tried most of those fixes and they don't work and what worked for me was pretty simple and so um, you want to try those fixes go ahead but um, I suggest these fixes first and if these don't work go ahead and try those um, by right staff I've actually tried all those myself and none of them actually worked at least for me they didn't so what you want to do is um, there's two main reasons uh, why this problem is occurring and usually uh, this happens when um, you've been able to play this game previously and all of a sudden it stopped working for some reason and you've tried you know changing to a different server maybe UK instead of North America and it's still not working but um, there's a quick fix to this and um, there's actually three ways of solving this. The first one is the simplest. I'll go from the simplest to the hardest. Uh, this isn't the main fix and the one that did for me, but it is the quickest and simplest. Um, and it works for some people. And all you have to do is pretty much um, check to make sure you're on the right server. And then uh, once you hit the play screen, click the gear icon at the top right and click tick the repair button and then click OK and it will auto repair any errors it may take um, an hour to two hours depending on how fast your computer is 
what it's mainly doing is um, fixing and updating the majority of your files. Uh, most of the time it's just deleting them and reinstalling them from the server. So you're getting a, like a fresh install. Um, sometimes this doesn't work because it doesn't repair everything. So you may want to just delete everything and then reinstall it. So make sure you get like a, if you really want to get down to it, get like a, like a installer, uninstaller program. And what these programs do, um, they're free and they delete everything of the game. Um, you don't have to do this, you can just use the Windows uninstall, but sometimes Windows un uninstall will leave some stuff behind. So um, this is to delete everything from the game. And after you do that, you could get a clean install from the website for free. And this will probably fix your problems. Moving on to number two. Uh, this fix is actually also pretty quick. So try this out if the first one didn't work. Make sure when you are opening the game up, no browsers or anything else is open. Um, that means no freaking... Google Chrome, no Firefox, no other programs are open. So until you log into the game and you've actually clicked play and the game is actually loading. So after your queue is done, after you've actually loaded up the game and you can actually play. So um, this is after like you can actually move your character. Um, you should not actually have any other programs open. So this mainly means browsers, so um, close your browsers before you do this. From the, st from the point you open the game to the point you load up the game, um, no browsers. And that should fix your problems. And the reason behind this is people usually have their browsers up and they will alt-tab or switch to their browser while the game is loading. And this sometimes screws up the game load. And this usually happens for uh, people using Google Chrome. So if you're using Firefox, um, it won't happen as much. But uh, that's the main point. So you can get around uh, not having to do this by uh, just not alt-tabbing um, uh, from any point from when you log in to when your game loads. So uh, people get impatient and they don't want to wait that long. So they will alt-tab, which basically switches to the browser. And they do stuff on the browser while it's waiting. And for some people, it screws up the load time. So um, this worked for me, kind of, and then it stopped working. So the last fix is what uh, did it for me. And this was uh, pretty hidden, and most people won't realize this. So this actually happened to me like in the middle of a game. So um, for me, everything was working properly, and I actually played uh it had run smoothly for several hours and then all of a sudden um i was starting a rent game and as soon as it started loading up the whole thing just froze and i wasn't sure what to do so i waited and then i tried closing it and then i tried reopening it and then i tried ending the process restarting my computer changing servers um a bunch of stuff and nothing was working everything was freezing up and I would try uh, going to the website to um, check out uh, the server status and it wouldn't load and nothing from the website would load any route to the website wouldn't load and I tried going to the Twitter websites and checking the status from there and anything having to do with Twitter wouldn't load either so uh, it was weird because if I went on to other websites, it would load pretty quickly. So if I went on to Google or YouTube, that would load quickly. But this would not for some reason. So um, I finally figured it out. And it was uh, because of the AVG antivirus system I was using. And apparently, uh, if you're using um, other uh, strict virus systems, antivirus systems, um, it will do the same thing. It will pretty much block the game it will block a bunch of websites related to the game and pretty much block anything else that's even slightly related to the game so I ended up having to disable it and then completely uninstalling it 
Um, and then at, right after uh, that happened, I waited five to ten minutes. And at first, nothing different happened. It still wouldn't load uh, the game. But um, after five to ten minutes, um, it worked perfectly. Um, everything was working smoothly again. And it was obvious that it was the uh, antivirus system that was causing this. So that's what did it for me. And um, if you're using any strict antivirus system yourself, that's probably the reason. So uh, that's it for now. And... Uh, uh, see you guys later.